Hey guys, welcome back to Red Iron Adventure. My name is Brian. This is my beautiful wife Haley, and we are here at our house on the western outskirts of Houston in Austin County. We're having a Murray floor plan home built by America's Home Place. It is a four bed, two bath, but one of the projects that we decided to take on ourselves was to build a fence. And so we used the, well, we used spring break and now extended spring break, which is, I guess they're calling coronacation some people are calling it that I don't know uh, we're just calling it time off from work and we're using it functionally to get our fence up so let's take a look Hey guys, welcome back to Red Iron Adventure. My name is Brian. Like I said, our house is a Murray floor plan by America's Home Place. They have done an exceptional job on putting this house together and we are super excited. Um, we are very, very close to having our final walkthrough probably in the next 10 days, 14 days, something like that. Um, obviously all of that is COVID-19 dependent, um, but since Construction and home building is part of the essential trades. Um, it is really nice to see that our house is progressing along. So we're very grateful and excited about that to have something exciting going on in the midst of all of this craziness. So anyways, um, one of the tasks that we decided to take on ourselves um, and save a little bit of money on was to build our own fence. Um, we did this project um, over the course of the last two to three weeks. Um, we started with spring break, um, worked a whole lot. Um, we dug all of the fence posts uh, down. I did probably about 10 of them by hand and then I went and rented an auger from Home Depot, um, dug those down. Um, there are about 40 posts on this fence total and I dug them down between 18 and 24 inches. We set them in fast set concrete. Um, so we got those all set. And um, I did try and use, for those first 10 posts, I used the Sika post, uh, fence post foam. Um, it looked really cool and it, it set up really easily. But when I came back the next day to continue working, um, it, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, they were still a little shaky. They weren't solid in the ground like concrete would be. So um, I actually just pulled those up. It really wasn't that difficult at all. Uh, I pulled those up. I cleaned them off. I used the Sawzall and uh, was able to get the post all clean, was able to reuse them, put them in the ground with cement, uh, concrete, and, uh, and here we are. We're good. So 40 posts in all. Um, we also used two by fours to frame out the um, utility wire. We used a Oh, well, the fence is 250 feet roughly, and we use three rolls of this uh, rolled utility wire. It's got a two by four mesh, and they come in rolls of 100 feet, and they cost about $65 at tractor supply. Um, super simple. All we did was we used the U-shaped nails um, to attach it to the post all the way around the property. Um, and then we came back with the two by four and we put the two by four bracing across the top of the fence. Um, it's nothing fancy. Um, this is by no means a DIY do it yourself teaching you how to do it video. This is simply a DIY I showed you how I did it video. So if this is going to fail, then it's my problem to deal with, not yours. Please don't go build a fence like this unless you want to take that risk. Um, I just wanted to share what we did, how we did it. And uh, yeah, I personally am very excited about how it turned out. This entire project, 250 feet of fence, came in with, uh, we used three gates, three metal gates. Um, this whole project came in under $2,000. I would say probably in the neighborhood of $1,700, give or take. Um, I haven't pulled out the calculator to add it all up exactly to the penny, but I do know that that's roughly where we landed. It's definitely under $2,000 for sure. Um, it, Man, it was so cool. We did this ourselves, but we also had some family that came out and helped. My sister and her husband and their kids came, as well as my brother. Um, and so I want to give them a huge shout out and say thank you to all of them. Um, in the midst of this, we also had some other friends who came out and helped us with the driveway, which you guys saw the parking pad already go in. Um, so lots of things have been taking place here over the last couple weeks. So um, one of the next projects that we do want to do is we are going to build a um, some patio furniture for our patio. 
as well as the missus has requested some raised bed garden space and so we are thinking about making a planter box that will go kind of in the corner so um, that should be an exciting and interesting project to do um, i hope you guys have enjoyed looking at my new fancy fence uh, like i said it's nothing special it's not a cadillac fence but i think for the price that we paid and for what we get we are very excited our dog is going to be so happy to be able to come out here and enjoy um, all of the land it is definitely spring you can see just how much of our yard is uh, kind of going crazy so lawnmower and uh, riding lawnmower at that is probably on the to buy list very soon if you guys have a recommendation on what kind of riding lawnmower to get um, please leave a comment down in the comment section below as always if you have not done so make sure you hit subscribe we would appreciate it um, i love being able to share these videos and show you the progress on our house as well as the projects that we are doing um, and please don't laugh at us if you see us doing something wrong so Anyways, hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are having a great week. Just, you know, make sure you wash your hands. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks a lot. See you later.